Andrew Malcolm here, Mortgage HQ, and we're continuing on with our property cycle series. And we're going to talk about the downturn phase. Now, the downturn phase is when there's a flattening in property values in the market, and you might see some averages in some places actually fall below what um, high they showed recently. And people are really starting to talk about in the media about you know, the potential for property prices to fall especially with regard to averages. You might see some values still increasing, specific suburbs or property types, but generally speaking, a downturn or flattening phase in the property cycle is when the averages of the property values stay pretty stagnant. So in a, in a property cycle downturn phase, you're gonna see asset values increase slightly, but the rent doesn't really go up. So that means the yields are gonna go down and we're gonna see um, a lot more commentary and a lot of thought for investors thinking that it's a bit irrational to own a property at such a low yield. An example might be an Auckland property might used to have cost say 700,000, yield you know, six, seven percent. Now that same property might be a million and only yielding three percent or less. You can see that in that downturn phase with the prices keep going up but only slowly, and that the market is not allowing the rents to keep up, then people start to think, okay, maybe this property bust is coming sometime soon. And in a downturn phase, you're gonna see interest rates rising, which is what we're starting to see now. You know, there's been rates going like this for the last five years, and now in the last couple of months, they're starting to go up again. And they're definitely starting to see rates um, for two and three years go up as well, uh, not just that one year rate, no. A couple of weeks ago, people were locking in 2.19, and now no, that rate's gone, uh, 2.49, you're lucky to get it. So it's it's a situation where interest rates, the commentary and the feeling and, and the actions by banks, interest rates are going up. Now in a downturn phase, it's not just the property market, it's the economy as well. So when exports out of New Zealand start to slow, that can help trigger or you know really reinforce a downturn phase. And, and exports have been slowing out of New Zealand, not just because of the economic situation, it's mostly because of what's caused the economic situation. Um, no pandemic around the world at the moment, um, and it doesn't seem to be abating anytime soon. So shipping has slowed down. Um, no, it's hard to get stuff into the country and it's hard to get stuff out of the country because uh, transport options have dropped. So cash flow for businesses and property investors, you know, property owners in general, is starting to decline, especially if you've entered into properties at that higher price. Uh, the yield, maybe you thought you were gonna get 3.5% and now you're looking at 2.8%. You know, it's really starting to impact your confidence and your ability to start uh, to keep paying off your debts. Now when the economy does slow and confidence in the market um, is, is dropping, that's when consum uh, consumption drops. So people go to restaurants less, you know, go to the movies less, stop upgrading things. They Obviously travel has slowed, slowed down, so there's not as much money moving through the economy as quickly as it, it used to, and that helps reinforce that flattening in the market where people are kind of treading water waiting to see what's happening. Now home buyers and investors, they're sensing that maybe the property prices have peaked recently and they're pausing their intentions to take action. So whereas a year or two ago, maybe people were looking that they would upgrade their homes or they would buy another property or potentially they would get into the market when they're not already, uh, a lot of people in that flattening out phase are, are thinking, you know, maybe we should wait and see what's happening. Now, there's always a percentage of people that wanna wait, but now there might be in this downturn phase a lot more people that are in that wait and see phase. And you especially see in the media, they're talking a lot about doom and gloom or potential doom and gloom or you know, potential bust coming soon. Uh, you see all the economists um, you know, having votes and property experts saying in the media, yep, this is when the property bust is coming. That's gonna extend out the flattened uh, downturn period because if you've got a lot more people saying it's gonna bust than you do have people saying it's gonna go up, that perpetuates the downturn phase. The property market and the economy are very closely tied, especially in New Zealand because you know, property is such a big proportion of New Zealanders wealth. So when the economy slows and there's job losses and, and confidence for the business side of things starts to drop, that can really contribute to a downturn phase because a lot of 
business owners, whether they're small businesses or not, are the property buyers and the people that are upgrading and moving. So when they slow down their purchasing, it impacts everyone. And when businesses have less confidence or they start to slow down, they're hiring less people, giving less promotions, and that affects all the people that are in salaried work. When this flattening phase uh, starts to really cement itself as being like quite an obvious uh, thing, that's when um, political unrest really can start to spiral. So we're seeing this in the New Zealand political um, side of things at the moment where Labour, Labour came in, they were very very popular when they came in and now what you're starting to see is, is polls in the media where the, the popularity of the Prime Minister and, and the Labour government is starting to fall and a lot of that can be attributed to economic conditions, property conditions, the political unrest about what's going on definitely contributes to a property uh, market being in a, in a flat uh, zone. So the key thing is not to get disheartened by a downturn phase. Um, it's opportunistic time to get your ducks in a row. So one of the videos that we're gonna release very, very soon is what you can do to prepare uh, for the bust phase that which comes after that downturn phase and most importantly thinking long term what you can do to get in a position where you can really take advantage when property prices might be flat or even declining uh, because you don't want to miss out you know it only takes one or two really strategic awesome property investments to you know absolutely transform your financial wealth but if you're not prepared it's going to be hard to capitalize on it so let us know in the comments if you've got any questions about property cycles and don't forget to subscribe.